what's up guys it's Elisa today I will be making stir fry crabs with vermicelli noodle um, since it's my birthday I decided um, to make this videos for you guys and also I want to eat this um, dish so let's go with some of the ingredients um, here I have a total of three fresh Duncan's crab that just came in today from the store told me from Seattle Washington so I, I took the word for it and then um, you're going to uh, cook the crab first but first I'm going to go over some of the ingredients uh, some, of the, some of the ingredients you will need is you need one big stalk of lemongrass and then I have 10 kaffir lime weeds and then some galangal and then turmeric and then a clove of garlic and I will be using one can of this minced crab mix that's mixed with uh, oil, chili pepper and garlic and other ingredients that um, I'll be using is a, I use one jar, a small jar of young peppercorn and you just want to pick um, the little peppercorn okay and then I'll be using um, some green onions and some yellow onion and then here is um, some peppercorn that I'm using the black kind and then chicken soup mix, sugar, some chili pepper and then palm sugar and fish sauce okay so first we are going to soak our noodle in warm water so it can um, be soft and then just let that sit aside and um, you can use any brand that's on the market or the cheapest that you can find okay so you can use cold water or warm water it's up to you but I'm using warm water here okay Okay, my water come to a boil. Now I'm going to cook my crab. These are very fresh, nice and big and juicy. Uh, we when we went to the store, we asked the guy, you know, to um, pick us some big one. Okay, with the crab, we don't want to cook it too long. I think um, let it just cook for about 15 minutes or so. Okay, just start you better where oh jira uch lam bat ke mai bat. So while the crab is cooking, you're going to slice your lemongrass, your galangal, your turmeric, your kaffir lime leaves and your garlic. You want to slice it into small pieces so when you put this in the mortar and pound it and make the job uh, more faster. Okay. You're going to pound all these ingredients until it becomes to a paste. So it takes you about maybe 10 to 15 minutes, depending on how fast you do it. And then after that, just scoop the um, paste and put it in a bowl and let that sit aside. <laughs> After 15 minutes, you're going to remove the crab and put that in a bowl so it can um, cool down a little bit. Next, you're going to smash the palm sugar with the peppercorn and the young peppercorn. But first, start with the black uh, peppercorn first and the palm sugar. We want to break the palm sugar and the peppercorn so it releases its nice um, flavor and also the aroma when we fry in the oil. 
And then we're going to add in the young peppercorn. The young peppercorn um, give it a very um, tasty to the noodle. It's, um, it's spicy, but it's not that spicy as a chili pepper. And we just want to break this um, a little bit. We don't want to uh, too smash. It's just to break it so when we stir fry it, all the ingredients could go into the, the young peppercorn as well. And then just um, place that in a bowl. And when we're ready, then we're going to stir fry this in oil. And then I, I forgot about the chili, pe uh, chili pepper. You're supposed to smash it with the green um, yep, uh, peppercorn too, but it's okay. You can do it separately. And um, the chili pepper give it a very spicy taste um, versus the pep the black pepper and the young peppercorn. It's a little bit more hot, but not as spicy as the red chili pepper. Okay, once your crab cool down, uh, basically pull that apart, and we are going to keep the shell um, to the side, and then we going to cut the crab in half and we are going to remove this little thing right here I guess the furry part I'm not sure what they call that uh, just remove that we don't need we don't need that okay and um, be careful it's uh, a little bit hot okay and then we are going to cut it into another half you don't want to um, uh, move remove all the legs basically just want to cut maybe into four uh, four pieces So when you stir fry it the meat um, stay together. It doesn't fall apart I don't even okay. I'm only using two crab and then the other one when it's cooled down You can just wrap it with saran wrap and put it in the fridge and it'll last you about a week or maybe um, two weeks in the freezer. Okay, continue cutting your crabs. And then we're done. And now, by then, your noodle is already soft ready. And then pour the water out. I'm going to pour the water onto my plants. Out right there, yeah, just like that. We are then going to cut up a green onion. Just cut about two inches apart. Big chunk, just like that. Okay. Put Okay, in a hot wok, you are going to add about um, one fourth cup of oil, and um, you want it to use um, a lot of oil because the crab doesn't have that much fat. So, once our wok is hot, we're going to add in the chili pepper, the peppercorn, and the young peppercorn that we smashed earlier with the palm sugar. Then you're going to add in the uh, lemongrass paste and give it a good mix and let it this cook for about one minute or so so it's um, become nice and crispy and then next you're going to add in all the crab legs but uh, don't put in the shell Next, we are going to add in the seasoning. We're going to start by adding the fish sauce. 
and score, score from that. Okay, then we're gonna add in the regular sugar, and this is the chicken soup mix. We are going to add half of the minced crab paste. We're gonna save some for the noodle, and uh, just give this a, a toss, uh, just a few uh, mixing not uh, too long because the crabs are already cooked already and we don't want it, um, the crab to be overcooked yeah baby that's what I'm talking about okay. lemon no crab in the oven the crab is in the now we are going to remove the crabs out from the wok and put that in a bowl and then we're going to add in the noodle and you're going to toss the noodle um, so all the seasoning uh, mix well with the noodle so yummy look at that mmm the remaining of the minced crab, you're going to add that with the noodle and then uh, mix everything all together. Go with a sub crew, a joke on a We're going to add about two scoops of the crab broth that we used to cook the crab earlier. So this will make the noodle nice and soft. Hey, oh, mother, good thing. Hey, oh, no, yeah. Then you're going to add the crab that you cooked earlier, put that all back into the wok, and you're going to mix that um, together with the noodle. Okay. After you mix the noodle and the crab together, then you're going to add in the green onions and the yellow onions. Um, these cook very fast, so you just probably want it to toss for a few time. Okay, now you're all done, and you're going to get a big scoop and you're gonna put that into the empty shell. This just make it um, a nice presentation. Oh yeah, baby, look at that. Dang, that looks good. Okay, now I'm gonna taste it for you guys, okay? This is so delicious. I have to give it two thumbs up. Not just one thumb, two thumbs. So when I put two thumbs, that means it's very delicious. 
Okay, that's it for our video today. Thank you so much for watching it. And don't forget, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. And uh, give me a comment if you have any question. And uh, especially if you have not subscribed yet, uh, click on my picture. Um, I would truly appreciate it. Okay, so until the next time, take care. And peace out. Love you guys.